it is likely that although you will have used Google for searches in the past, if you don't know a bit more about how Google really works, then you can improve the quality of your searches to bring up better results. Let's see how this works. For instance, if we search on the word herbs, we'll bring up a list of 39,900,000 for herbs, and here's a definition according to Google, and this took less than a tenth of a second. Listed on this page are the first 10 websites which specifically refer to herbs, and you, if we scroll down we'll see this list here. This is the second 10, the third 10, fourth 10, and so on, and you can keep going on for as long as you like searching through all the websites which are specifically bringing up herbs as a keyword. Now, on the left hand, on the right hand side rather, we have a list of sponsored links. These perhaps won't be so useful to you initially at least, um, because they're basically advertisements and this is what helps pay for Google to bring us such a um, uh, wonderful search um, machine. However, check through them and there might be something of interest for you there. So I've seen how to search on herbs. So we want to search on websites which specifically deal with herbs and spices. In this case we just put in spices. We don't u need to use the actual word and because it's assumed by Google. And although we had 39 million before, now we've restricted the range of search and now there's only 1.9 million which has of websites which have both herbs and spices in them. Alternatively, we could look for websites which mention either herbs or spices, and this time we need to put in the OR, and note that you need to put this in capital letters, otherwise your search won't work properly. Click on Search, and we'll see this time the total results is a little bit more, uh, coming to about 44,200,000, because this time not only you're looking for websites which have including herbs, but you're also looking for websites which are uh, include spices as a keyword. Now just possibly you want to look for websites which deal with herbs but you specifically don't want to have websites which make any mention of spices for whatever reason. Just precede this with a negative sign and we'll do a search here and see what comes up now. So in this case there's only 7,970,000 sites which do have herbs in them, or itemized in them, but specifically don't have spices there. Let's go on to see how else you can um, use different search functionality. For instance, you can enter a whole sentence or a question like, where is Adrian's wall? And this brings up 864,000 websites and here it's actually going to ignore these first two words where is and the last question mark and just search for Hadrian's wall it's not really so Google doesn't really think you're interested in the where is so much and it just wants to know um, that you want to know about Hadrian's wall primarily so we can do a more precise search by putting a plus sign before then and this now will specifically include any website which has the word where in it. To be notified of further videos like this on searching with Google please go to www.seeherelearn.com and register your name and email address. Thanks.